forget to subscribe, click that bell, like, comment, and share. intellectual property asset first we use our brain our brain that is composed of the left and right brain di ba? sabi nila the left brain is more of the logical mind the analytic mind and the right brain is more of the creative mind but whatever left or right you're using as long as the idea comes from your mind, then you can have an intellectual property. Your idea that exists in the mind should be expressed in something, in any form. The idea can be expressed, example, in terms of pictures, songs, movies, books, paintings, poetry, etc. However you want it expressed. So that people can see what's in your mind, right? Whatever is in your mind, you have to express into something. And when you express in terms of the following I've shown in the screen, it's called copyright or related rights. If you express your idea in terms of products or processes, only two, products or processes, then you can have a patent and utility models if you disclose the information. But if you do not disclose the information that involves under undisclosed information or trade secret. If you thought of something that is two-dimensional or three-dimensional crafts or designs, then you are creating industrial design. So I do hope that when we use our mind or imagination and express into something, that expression may now have different forms of intellectual property. What goes with your intellectual property? What's important with it? You enjoy rights. What are these rights? The first right is called the economic rights. The right to earn. The right to make money. The right to be paid whenever your work is used. And the moral rights. The right to be known as the creator or the inventor of that particular technology. Since this is an intellectual property or an asset, it is similar to a lot or a car, wherein you can always sell the economic rights, but the moral rights retains. Now, since you have rights, then it is important that you seek protection. When we say protection, this means that you enjoy the monopoly of using, manufacturing, selling these products or these forms to others or to your clients or customers. Or in other words, we exclude others from manufacturing, using, and selling all of these forms. Who provides the protection? The law provides the protection. It is written in the law, it is a universal law as well, that everything created out of our intellect or mind should be protected. How long is the protection? This is an asset, remember. It's like a house or a car. But the protection that you enjoy has a limit. And we have to know the limit of the protection. Because during the length of the protection, when you enjoy the monopoly of selling, manufacturing, and using the product, excluding others, no, you alone has the right to do, to, to do it, 
everyone who will copy it is infringing your intellectual property. And infringement is punishable by law. Infringement can be in the form of administrative, civil, and criminal cases. And that's why we cannot no, let anybody steal the idea from us. That's why we need a protection. There is a number of years that a certain intangible asset or prop intellectual property is protected. After the protection period, what happened? It will now belong to the public domain. It means that anybody can now use, manufacture, and sell, or practically copy your products. So in other words, you have to know the length of your protection so that you can enjoy all the economic benefits during the time that you are protected. Because beyond that protection period, it now goes back to the people, to the public. That is when we put balance in the, in the creation of knowledge. You, as the one who have thought of that creation, of that intellectual property, will enjoy a particular limit of time, and then at some point in time, you bring it, bring, give it to the public so that the public can now also benefit from your technology. Now, going back to my question, how long is the protection? If you are creating a copyright or related rights, you are enjoying a protection up to 50 years after your death. What does this mean? This means that the copyright is an inheritance up to the second degree of your heirs. It is an inheritance to your children and to your grandchildren. 50 years after your death, is typically a protection given to common law countries such as the Philippines. In other non-common law countries, they enjoy up to 75 years of protection after death. So I'll give you an example, no? Example, you compose a song. Let's say Jose Marie Chan, okay? So Jose Marie Chan needs to die first and 50 years after death, you still enjoy all the economic benefits from the copyrighted material. If the product or the, the creation is by uh, made by a team, then you have to wait for the last alive member of the team to die and add 50 years. So that is quite a very long history, uh, protection for copyright. So the very good example of a company enjoying this is Disneyland. Uh, Disney, I'm sorry, Disney, okay? Disney is creating the literary and the uh, artistic creation. Example, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and all the different types of characters. When they affix those characters into different forms of products, say movies, novelty items, all of these no, will have a royalty paid to Disney. And then the creation or the profit will now go to the heirs of Disney. Kaya yung anak ni Disney, nag-iisa lang yata yung girl na yun, philanthropic na siya kasi hindi niya na mauubos yung pera na ipinaman na may meron siya. Plus, buhay pa ang tatay, no? Kaya sabi nila, the, the heirs of Shakespeare, because of Shakespeare sonnets, Five degrees with the floor, with respect with the floor, no? Because that shoes will stick on the floor, 
so that you can bend your body 45 degrees. No? That's an invention, that kind of, that the shoes is an invention of Michael Jackson. Okay? So in other words, guys, copyright is the simplest way for you to get wealthy. And uh, we have one here in um, NU, the heir or tagapagmana or pamangkin of Kepweng, no? the illustrator of Kepweng. Uh, the 20 years ago, and now, 20 plus years ago, and they all, the family still has 20 plus years to enjoy the fruits of uh, Kepweng. <clears throat> uh, Sister Francisco from Seyas was given a special power of attorney by the children of uh, Kepweng to explore the market. And there are so many now possibilities of commercializing Kepweng. Okay, so copyright is one. Number two, want a more complex intellectual property, then go to patents and utility model. The protection for patent is 20 years non-renewable, while for utility model, the protection is 7 years non-renewable. They sinasabi natin, within that period of 20 and 7 years, you have to enjoy. And, I mean, enjoy the economic profit, no? Max out the earnings during that time. Because after 20 years and after 7 years, it will now go back to the public domain. Everybody can now use it. That's a strategy of underdeveloped countries. They will look at all expired patents. And once it is expired, they will now copy it and sell it. We call them generics. So that's the style of generic company, especially the, the medicines. They just have to wait the expiration of it. And then after that, they, can, they are free to sell it and copy it. Number three, industrial design. Industrial design is a maximum of 15 years. Why? Because on the first uh, registration, you will enjoy five years of protection and you can renew twice. So maximum protection of 15 years. 